it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. How are you all doing today? Hey, after all these videos talking about embracing who you are, accepting who you are, and learning to be different because that's what we're supposed to be doing, hey? Being different, working on our strengths, what makes us who we are. All right, so in this video today, I want to talk about judgment. Now, for the longest time, I would hear things about judgment and I just couldn't get my head around understanding. It was just the wording of how they put it together. Now, my understanding of it, and I'm going to pass this on to you because it might bring some clarity on the subject for you. Because many times you'll hear that people will say, or you would have heard out there, you know, that what, things are neither right nor wrong. It's our judgment of it that makes it so. So let's go back to a moment in time in your life, for example. Okay, where a belief was created. Now, in my life, my example was that money was bad. Okay, now this was passed down, not just by my parents, but by the church and by everyone you spoke to at the time. Okay, we're talking over 40 years ago. So this was the belief and this is what was taught. Money was bad. You know, people that had money were evil. They were not good people. So I grew up with this belief. Now what happens is when you believe something, okay, you place it in a place of rightness, or wrongness. In this case, this belief around money meant that money was bad. Money was wrong. To have too much money, okay, to have an abundance of money is wrong. So we place it on this side for it to be wrong, okay? So it's something that we try to avoid having too much of because it's not good to have too much money in your life okay it's the root of all evil apparently so that was one belief okay there's so many beliefs that we put together in our childhood many of them are passed down by the adults around us okay many many of the beliefs are just passed on because that's what's been passed down generation after generation after generation so they're just things that have been said to you many many times and like I said in a previous video just because something's been said to you over and over and over again doesn't make it true now what happens is when you've decided you've made a belief that something is good or something is bad and you've placed it in one of these boxes right that it's either right or it's wrong you'll have a judgment towards it so you know you judge when people have too much money, they can't be good people. You know, they must be evil. They must be doing something, you know, that's not right to allow them to make all this money. Just staying with the money belief, okay? Because there'll be many beliefs that we've created in our childhood. And this is what causes us to decide, you know, whether it's right or whether it's wrong to have in our lives. And the truth is that money's neither good nor bad. It's just money, it's just a means to an end. We've had this in a previous video talking about money's just a means to an end. It's just a way, okay, for you to obtain all the material things that you'd like to have. It's just really an exchange. Piece of paper, <laughs> the cash for, okay, that car. Piece of paper, the cash for that degree. It's just a means to an end. Okay, so we just want that. Okay, the money to change it for something, you know, that we can use in our lives. It's, it's all it is. When looked that way, when you look at it that way, it's very simple. Okay, it's just a transaction. We need to get that so that we can get, you know, what we really, really want in life. What our desires are, what would make us happy to have. So, in a way, you know, when we deny ourselves because we've decided that money's bad, we feel bad about having it. But at the same time, for many people, not only do you feel bad about having too much, too much money, but you also feel bad when you finally got all these beautiful things that you've wanted. You feel like you don't deserve them. 
You know, this judgment goes so many levels. <laughs> it's not just a money's bad and I can't have too much of it. But then there's also the, the fact that you're not good enough to have all the beautiful things that you desire to have, you know, that you'd, you'd like to enjoy. And a lot of people don't even let themselves enjoy the things that they do buy because their judgment is so strong against how bad it is to have money, you know? So I want you to really think about that today. Think about judgment and think about the things that you judge in your life as being right or being wrong. And then I want you to really start to think of where that belief came from because it's the belief about something that's steering it into one or the other direction. You know, because sometimes when we believe something is right, that also causes judgment on that. And it's just as bad as it being wrong, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, the feelings that it creates inside of you that make you feel bad, because that is right, you know? But where did this, this belief come from in the first place is what you've got to think of. You know, is it something that's absolutely true? Or is it something that's just being passed down by the people around you as you were growing up? So we'll talk about more examples of things that we judge. Okay, money was quite a strong one in mind when we were growing up. And for many, you know, still struggling financially because we just feel uncomfortable letting it in, letting it flow because of these strong beliefs that have been passed down before. You know, and so many years, what happens is you have so many years of adults telling you the same thing over and over. You get conditioned to believe that that's the way it is. It's a conditioning. But, you know, you have to come to a point in your life where you realize that just because they said it doesn't mean that it's true. Okay, so, We'll talk more of this in the next few videos and hopefully it'll help you to release some of your old beliefs that aren't true, that have no place in your life now, but they're blocking you from moving forward in certain areas of your life. Okay? All right, my darlings. Thanks for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages because it may be the most important message for you today. All right? Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.